video of uh, what uh, Dr. Martin Saar is doing with one of Reason's Beowulf clusters that we shipped to them about, uh, what is it now, 10 months ago? About 10 months. 10 months ago. So uh, I'll let uh, Dr. Martin take it from here and uh, tell us what he's doing with the cluster and, and uh, what he's been able to do and, and what he intends to do in the future. Well, what we do here mostly in the geofluids group at the University of Minnesota is um, uh, multi-phase, multi-component uh, simulations of groundwater and heat flow. And the components could be water and noble gases such as helium. And this is what uh, this simulation here is showing, is the uh, 3D simulation of helium-free concentrations in the subsurface in the fall. And what this is interesting for is combined with the temperature distributions, we can learn something about geothermal energy, resources, or volcanic uh, systems in terms of heat and magma supply. So we use a code called TUF2 to do that, and we run that on multiple processors, particularly for our 3D simulations. And TUF2 was developed for, was it Yucca Mountain? It was originally developed uh, by Carson Chris and Lawrence Berkeley National Lab for Yucca Mountain. Uh, but it has, since then, um, it has been used all over the world for many uh, multi-phase, multi-component okay. simulations. And that, that was developed, what was it, in Fortran? Or? It's in Fortran. Okay. okay, and that was one of our challenges there. We had to uh, modify some of the Fortran code to get it to uh, run on this uh, Beowulf cluster here, but we were able to accomplish that. And it's been working fine. Yeah, it's been working great. Uh, my students here, they're both working, uh, working on, the, on the cluster, both using TUF2 now. And, um, and, and it's running, um, well, itself, it's running in, uh, not in parallel, but using a uh, multiple process allows to start uh, a number of processes uh, simultaneously. Okay. And, and what, are you, what uh, is it that uh, drove the need for a cluster? Is there kind of a parallel type of task for simulations or, or what are you doing? Well, the simulate, at this point, the simulations themselves all uh, run in series, so they're not, uh, each model is not uh, parallelized. But we are able to start a, a large number of models, each on its own processors at the same time. And the reason why that is needed is because these com uh, computations are rather complex. Uh, we're dealing with uh, thermodynamics, with uh, different phases, uh, liquid and gas phases, with different components such as, as I said, groundwater and helium or other noble gases. Uh, and also the heat distributions, and that all needs to be simulated. Mm -hmm. And particularly in geology and geophysics, we deal with, with three-dimensional systems that can be rather large, and on top of it, we may simulate uh, millions of years of time. So uh, if you add all that up, three-dimensionality, large periods of times, multiple phases and multiple components, you end up with a large computational problem yeah. for which you need lots of processes. What, uh, can you give us an example of how long some of these simulations or uh, uh, calculations might run? Yeah, it, it ranges anywhere from um, the shortest ones would be maybe 40 seconds, but it uh, goes up right now to about 24 hours. 24 hours? Yes. Okay, interesting. And that's running on dual Optron compute nodes that I believe are uh, Optron 244s, I think is what we have there. So. Yeah, so it, it, it does take a while, but it, it very much depends on the modeling domain. Of course, three dimensions, three dimensions takes a, long, a lot longer than two right. dimensions. Right. And also how many components we're simulating, right. if we have phase transitions or not, right. makes a huge difference. Right. And you were saying uh, earlier that uh, some of the uh, calculations that have been run on this machine were uh, used in reports that were at the American uh, Geophysical Yes, yes, what we, what we do here um, gets reported at various meetings, at the American Geophysical Union meeting, at the Geological Society of America meeting, okay. and of course it ends up in publications. Okay, okay. Well, um, I want to thank you for uh, showing us what you uh, are using this Optron cluster for today.